Hello, hello, guys. Uh, here I have a Lenovo laptop. It's turning on, but there is nothing on the screen. So you know what we do. You know the steps that we do when we are repairing a PC that has no display, right? First thing that you do, you check the RAM. You check the RAM slots, and here these RAMs are low voltage RAMs. Uh, which are 1.35 voltage but with 1.5 volt this motherboard doesn't accept 1.5 voltage after that i moved on i observed the screen you have to observe the screen if the pc doesn't have any display but in our case this screen was receiving the power but there was no backlight and there was no data there was no information on the screen so after doing so i check the ram again and my uh, low voltage ram and what i did was i took the other one took this ram here and i used it instead of using the other one but still the outcome uh, was still the same i was still receiving no uh, no information on the screen and no back lights because the back light you will have a back light if all the conditions are met then a pc will give you a back light because the back light uh, signal is coming from the startup chip but still there was nothing i pressed the power button i pressed the power supply first i turned the power supply on after doing so i pressed uh the power parts in and still the pc was doing the same thing as you can see we still have nothing on the screen i press the power button to turn the machine on the fan was not spinning and uh, as you can see the screen was blinking somehow it was uh blinking i'm not sure if you can see but there was no information, no data, nothing, no backlight. Lucky on this one, I quickly suspected uh, the BIOS chip. So what I did was to confirm, I took a multimeter. You know what you do, right? You have to check uh the bios uh, uh chip switch it into a voltage mode put one prop to ground and then there we go you go ahead you progress i mean you check the voltage on the on the bios and again make sure that your board you do have the 3.3 after the power button because you might have the power but the 3.3 volts and the 5 volts before pressing the power button you will have so surely you will have the 3.3 but you have to check the bios and you can see on the bios pin number one i was receiving 3.3 pin number two i was receiving 3.3 okay my prop there was not touching proper i remember very well but i was receiving 3.3 .3 on all the pins except on pin number uh five it was as you can see it here i was checking pin number five it was jumping voltages were jumping and then on pin number six as well voltage where there was jumping on pin number five and pin number six hope you can see it goes to 0 0.3 3 volt 0 0.3 so voltage was jumping up and down and you know what we have to do right there i was explaining um what we're gonna do next you need that 
package there you take out your bios programmer yeah 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 sort of about that guys i didn't uh uh show you but anyway let's go ahead there i remember again i was explaining showing you how to program you need that mini programmer um and then you need a, a bios adapter to click i mean to install a chip to plug in a chip so let's go ahead and let's do it this is how i did it uh, and this is how you gonna do it as well you can use any programmer So guys, um, I removed the BIOS chip, that's the more small tiny chip right there, the black one, and then I plugged it in into a mini programmer. You can see. And then after that, I was um, able to read uh, the chip. So you plug it in there. If you have a USB hub, you can plug it right there. I'm using a USB hub. So there I was uh, waiting uh, for the chip to finish uh, programming I mean uh, writing the file. So this is how I use my programmer. See the chip right there. The motherboard was waiting for a chip and then starts working. there i was uh done that the chip you remove it from the programmer and then you plug it in back into a motherboard that's so simple guys it's so simple once you are done you remove the bios chip and then you connect it into a, a board back to where it belongs this is easy you don't have to panic or think about other any other things just chill and relax your mind this is so easy it's, this is thing this thing is easy it's easy after uh, installing the chip obviously the motherboard will be hot so you have to wait to wait until the board cools down and then we can you can start uh testing the board i have to wait for it until it cools down So here I connected everything back, uh, the power, my DC bench power supply, and the screen, everything actually, and then the machine started to work, and this was so easy guys, so easy. Let me give you a tip one more time. To confirm again if the BIOS is corrupted or not, check all the pins. If there's one pin that has a uh, with a voltage jumping uh, up and down, or even two pins, it can be any pin, but except the VCC pin, of which is pin number eight. Pin number eight should be stable always. Pin number eight 
but there we go the machine turning on and we, we receive the display as you can see there was a display and the machine went off and then it started up again and this was saying no portable device i was so happy anyway sharp sharp guys don't forget to press the subscribe button